to see that bell and ring that guy. Man, that's amazing. It's always fun to ring that bell. You know, rivalry week is a big deal, so. We're having a lot of fun working the bell this, this evening. Mike, you guys do dominate them defense. The front line dominated them defensively up front. Your thoughts on that? Well, we knew they're, they're a good team. They're with a great quarterback. We know how to get in his face. So we just try to get after him, attack him the other game. But I feel like we played a really great game again, completely. Did you feel their offensive line was maybe a weakness and you guys could exploit that? I don't think that. I think they were a great bunch of group of guys and they played well. What has changed with you guys this year? Because you were not the strength you are this year, last year. I mean, there's I mean, even you yourself individually has become a completely different player, it seems. Uh, I don't know. I feel different. Uh, Coach Coach Albert has done a really great job of kind of changing the philosophy of defense, kind of bringing us along. So I have a lot of faith in him and what he's been trying to do. So I uh, not feel different. It's so great. So the whole defense line is everything. It just feels a lot, of diff a lot different than it has in the past. Did you know it was going to be that kind of a day when you come out first defensive play and knock him down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I mean, he always want to get started fast. So, like I said, he was a great quarterback. So I know I really want to get in his face. I didn't want to have too much time dancing back there because he's uh, great on his feet, great accurate quarterback. So I feel like we did our job well. What's More the difference? Speaking, what does you guys are four zero? What does feel different? How have you gotten to this point after last year? As far as me personally, a defense line, whole defense, team. whole team. Whole team yeah. oh, I don't know. We've just been hungry, really hungry. You know, we came back like we talked about before, coming back, sitting home watching bowl games. You now it's a uh, Duke football has been used to winning, going 10 wins, 9 wins, 8 wins, winning pinch our bowl. So to be down 4 and 8 watching people play, I feel like it kind of woke people up who haven't been around. Because um, the culture before, the people were going 3 and 9, they were sick of it. So they kind of stepped it up. So I feel like it kind of humbled us to go 4 and 8. And you, guys were, Sorry, you guys were down until the middle of the fourth quarter there in the second half. Uh, what was the key to getting this team to the point that it needed to be in to make that big play and change the game at the end? I mean, that's just the game of football. You're going to go down, things are going to happen, people are going to make big plays, but you just got to keep going, throwing more steam, as we like to say, and not locker room. But yeah, you just keep fighting. We just knew that. You know, no matter what happens here and there, but it's going to be a four-quarter game. We knew we were going to come in here and fight. It was going to be easy. They didn't make it easy. They played a good game, so we just stayed hungry kept fighting. What's the difference in satisfaction winning this game at your house versus winning it here at their place? Oh, it's way better to come here and beat them. A lot better. It feels a lot better. Uh, it's kind of ring kick the bell off their field to win in their home territory. It feels great. Do you feel that like you can win, win a game by yourself? I mean, just because you, know, you guys were pretty dominant. Do you feel that, you know, when you need to, this defense can win a game? I do believe that we can step up and help our team win by that. No one side of the ball is ever going to get that done. You need defense, offense, special teams. So I don't feel like us by ourselves, I feel like we're doing a great job of helping our team get a job, get the job done. Oh, the weight room. Oh, man. I was, I was saying that on the sideline. I can't wait to see it up there. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be up there by the time we get there tomorrow morning for practice. After Surratt makes those couple of big runs, how did you guys change the way you defended him? We just knew we had to box him in. We, can, we weren't really taking any shots on the edge, kind of keep, make sure we keep him in the pocket because, like, like I said, he's a great runner, a great athlete. So we really had to make sure that we kept him in the pocket, make him not show too many runs. Mike, 